The Switch eShop has unleashed a massive sale, and today I've got 11 standout deals to share with you all, including a strong showing from Sega. Now, as always, then I will be covering deals in the US, Canada, UK, EU, and Australia, and I do think there is something for everyone this week, from beloved indie titles to blockbuster AAA hits. Plus, stay tuned as we will be announcing the winners of our two $10 eShop gift cards later in the video. Also, do remember, we run this giveaway every single week, so leave a comment down below for your chance to win one of the two $10 eShop gift cards in next Saturday's video. Also, we do have a bonus winner this week. That was for a North American copy of The Glass Staircase, the latest release from the folks over at Puppet Combo. Now, transparently, I've not played it yet, or at least at the time of this video recording, but my review for the game, it will be live on the channel tomorrow, so do watch out for that. Demon Slayer The Hinokami Chronicles is an arena brawler based on the anime of the same name. Now, specifically, this one is covering the offense of season one. It follows the story of Tanjiro and company. Now, I am a big fan of the genre personally. As simple as it can be, I always find it to be seriously entertaining. And it's definitely a go-to genre when it comes to anime adaptations. This one, though, in my opinion, one of the best. It just captures the characters perfectly. The combat is entertaining. There are a few exploration moments which... Yeah, they don't add much, but if you are a fan, you're going to enjoy seeing the locations. And on top of all of this, then, I think it looks and runs great. It's one of the better ports on the system, in my opinion, and right now, it's 60% off, matching the low price. Find my full review in the pinned comments. Minecraft, and not going to pretend I know a huge amount about the game. In fact, probably spent less than an hour in its world, something I most likely need to correct. However, I had to shout it out today as this 50% discount, it brings it to an all-time new low price on the eShop, and this game is universally praised, and if you've been waiting to dive into what is seemingly an endless world, now may just be that perfect time. Now, while I typically don't recommend games I haven't played, I do feel confident you're going to find plenty of support for this gem in the comments down below. Additionally, for an extra $5 or your regional equivalent, you can snag the deluxe edition. That includes mine coins, whatever they are, six additional maps, skin packs, a texture pack, and a few other bits. It's also worth noting then as well, to my knowledge, this is only the second time Minecraft has been on sale on the eShop since its 2018 launch. Sonic Superstars is next on the list. It's a title that has garnered a mixed reception. Personally, I found it to be just okay. You can check out my full review for all of the details. The game, though, introduces some interesting concepts, but they are sometimes eclipsed by performance issues and overly complex sections, just areas you need to navigate. Now, despite these flaws, though, Sonic often doesn't get the recognition he deserves, and I'd argue this game is at least a step in the right direction. You know, does it match the brilliance of Mario Wonder, which actually released around the same time? Absolutely not. However, if you are a fan of platformers, it's definitely worth a consideration, especially now with a 50% discount, definitely makes it easier to overlook those shortcomings. It's also a new low price, so he is hoping basically for a follow-up which corrects this release's mistakes because, as I said, there's definitely a good game in here. Persona 5 Tactica is a game I adore and right now it's 40% off a new low price. It's worth noting that Persona 5 and Persona 4 Golden, they are also on sale right now, both gems in the world of RPGs. However, this is a new release and I haven't really had a chance to mention it in relation to sales. Now the game, a spin-off of the series, it's a tactical RPG and while some of the mechanics can be a little basic at times. Its unique spin on the world of turn-based tactical games absolutely delivers. You know, there's a fun set of moves, a decently sized roster of characters to uncover, an entertaining story that throws us into a different realm, and a cutesy visual style that surprisingly worked for me. I personally think it's time to stop with the Persona 5 spin-offs now and get to the sixth game, but this was definitely a unique final victory lap for the Phantom Thieves. My pickup of the week then is Braid Anniversary Edition, meaning this is not a recommendation. Rather, maybe you'll want to join me for the raid. However, this is a classic. I played it back in the day. Now I'm curious to see how it stands up in 2024. I'm also curious to hear the included commentary, which I've heard is just really comprehensive. Now, naturally, that's not going to appeal to everyone, but the game itself, arguably one of the best puzzle platformers ever made. The concept, control time to solve the platforming puzzles around you. This addition then also updates the visual and audio design. And again, like going back to that commentary, it promises 12 hours of goodies to dig through, which is impressive considering it's actually a four hour experience on average. Right now then it's 10% off and that is a launch discount. 
Johain the Parhelion, Numasu in the Mirage is a relatively new release, currently available with a 10% discount that's matching the launch discount. While this may not be a massive markdown, this game is a hidden gem that has largely flown under the radar. It is a roguelite deck builder and it is seriously entertaining. Now, first of all, not the most difficult in the genre out there, and it should be approachable for everyone that wants to give it a go. And the concept, it's basically you're doing different runs, pushing a narrative forward alongside that kind of usual card-based building gameplay loop, but it really is great fun. Essentially though, you're gonna be saving your friends from a mysterious mirror world that affects them in the real world. Moreover, the game features a good selection of cards, and although I haven't watched the anime it's based upon, I really like this cast, and since I played the Metroidvania, and now this, I really need to watch that anime. Our first winner of the week then, it's for the Glass Staircase from Puppet Combo, and the code is going to Sam Mato, who highlighted Puppet Combo, and that was literally the only thing you needed to add to your comment for a chance to win. Congrats, Sam. Email me for the code. Valkyria Chronicles 4 is a standout gem in the realm of strategy games. Do not let the number 4 in the title deter you. You can dive right in without prayer experience. It's also time for a sequel, in my opinion. It's long overdue. This one, though, however, it unfolds during the same period as the original game, but this time we're following Squad E, a tank crew fighting for freedom in a war. The game is renowned then for its blitz system, a combination of strategy, RPG, and third-person combat. Now, I'd highly recommend you watch a full review of this one. There's a lot going on that you need to check out, but it's all wrapped up with a fantastic cast and a stunning watercolor-like visual style. The price as well here, it's incredible. 80% off a new low price, and the average completion time for this one, it's 40 hours. That's for the story alone. So just a huge amount of content and gameplay for your cash. Catherine Full Body is up next. It's 80% off a new low price. If I put a list together of my favorite games of all time, this would absolutely be on that list. The game is a unique combination of puzzle and narrative, but this re-release, it expands on the world with more of everything, including a whole new character that changes the way offense do play out. Now, I will admit not everyone appreciated those changes, but I personally did enjoy them. Now, this version then adds a multiplayer option featuring characters from the world of Persona, and the gameplay itself then, tough to explain. Basically, you exist in a world where those who are unfaithful are transported to a nightmare world in their dreams and they are being killed off. You find yourself here and you must scale the towers every night and run away from death. It is incredibly adult stuff, so do be warned of that. And yeah, I have a full review on the channel. Find that down below. And I'd definitely say start there as well because there's no other game quite like it. Our next winner of the week then, this is for the first of two $10 eShop gift cards, and this one it's going to Puglover, who highlighted Red Dead Redemption. Congrats on the win, email me for the code, and everyone else, we have a second winner coming up here shortly. Cassette Beast then is our penultimate game of the video, it's here with 30% off a new at low price. Now this is essentially a Pokemon clone that tries a few new things, and I think it largely succeeds. The concept is really unique though, in this world we use cassette tapes to transform into beasts, and if we record a new monster, we do inherit their abilities. It also adds a puzzle element as well, basically we can use these different powers we're inheriting in human form to navigate that location. Really enjoyed this one. I wouldn't say it's massively evolving the formula, but it's a little bit more challenging. The combat for sure feels a bit more difficult, and you can even take things online for 1v1 battles. I do have a video coming this week that features this one, so do watch out for that. But as I said, I really do think this one is definitely worth the luck. Our final winner then, it's going to Shamrocker90. Congrats on the win. Email me for the code and everyone else. Drop a comment down below for your chance to win one of the two $10 eShop gift cards in next week's video. Unicorn Overlord is our final game of the video. It is a masterpiece. Right now it is 25% off, which is a new low price and the first digital sale that we've seen for the game. It's from the Masters at Vanillaware. I gave this one a 10 out of 10 and you can find that video in the pinned comment down below. It's just a really unique experience. Think a tactical RPG that places a massive focus on its world exploration and narrative. What may put some people off is the fact that combat plays out automatically, but there's a slew of menus that allow you to adapt to your squad, their different strategies they're using and the movesets they do leverage. The locations as well, such as the battlefields, they get impressively large and you'll be pushed to leverage a huge number of strategies. For me, this is the best game of 2024 so far. I think it's going to be hard to top. I rarely hand out those 10 out of 10 scores and yeah, in my opinion, buy this one immediately.
And that is the video down. What will you be adding to the library this week? Let us know in the comments. With that, a shout out to the patrons and the channel members who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe, join us here for a few deals, news and lists daily, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.